Now, I'm going to take a quick run through the regulatory view on this because different regulators have said slightly different things on, on FTP. Uh, in terms of the UK, the regulator has simply said that fund banks need to include the cost of liquidity in their customer pricing and they need to describe what that regime is in their internal liquidity adequacy assessment. Uh, in the US and in, in the Europe with the European Banking Authority, uh, for example in Australia as well, regulators have said certain things about the need for a, a bank to demonstrate an adequate FTP mechanism in their customer pricing. So even before the regulator had said anything, you would like to think that banks address this in their customer pricing, but since the crash and regulators have been saying these sorts of things, obviously it's now incumbent on us to demonstrate this for regulatory compliance. Here is a few principles from the US regulatory authorities, more than one because these principles have uh, come, emanated from more than one US regulatory agency. Principle one, a firm should allocate funds transfer pricing costs and benefits based on funding risk and contingent liquidity risk. So in other words, we have to allocate costs and benefits based on our cost of funding and our contingent liquidity cost and risk exposure. What that means is we allocate the cost of that to the business lines. It doesn't, it shouldn't be uh, ignored or disguised elsewhere. Principle two, Principle two, a firm should have a consistent and transparent FTP framework for identifying and allocating FTP costs and benefits on a timely basis and at a sufficiently granular level commensurate with the firm's complexity and, and business model. Again, so we should have a consistent and, FT, and transparent FTP framework, consistent across all business lines and both sides of the balance sheet and transparent so the business, business lines can understand what the level are, is and where they are coming from. Principle three, a firm should have a robust governance structure for FTP. This one is a reasonably straightforward one to comply with if we ensure that the ALCO, a bank's ALCO, ha owns the FTP process and delegates authority for its management. Okay. And then finally, principle four, a firm should align business incentives with risk management and strategic objectives by incorporating FTP costs and benefits into product pricing, business metrics, and new product approval. Principle four is, um, is a bit catch-all. Not everyone says that an FTP framework or an FTP mechanism should be part of the incentivization process for business lines. Uh, some, some banks do and some banks don't. Uh, but certainly, FTP costs and benefits should be incorporated in product pricing. But of course, what costs and benefits? There's more than one type of cost to address beyond the term liquidity premium. And I'm going to go into that a bit more detail later. I should emphasize that these four principles are the sayings of the US regulatory authorities. They aren't a Basel guideline, so they're not universal throughout the world. And it's possible to have what I consider to be a fit for purpose FTP mechanism that is certainly we should have no problems from the regulator in the regulatory review by not necessarily following every single principle and every single bit of wording in these four principles. But this gives us a flavor of what certain regulatory agencies are saying banks should be doing. And certainly principles one and two uh, and principle three are fairly straightforward to address. Principle four should have some discussion, need some discussion at a bank's ALCO because it may be that business lines are incentivized simply by being told what to do by their management, by the senior management. One doesn't need to skew an FTP process to ensure this, uh, but uh, of course one needs to demonstrate that that is the case if, if, if one is incentivizing business lines through some other mechanism. But it's worth being aware of these four principles, I think, so that we have an understanding of what the regulatory uh, approach is to review of liquidity risk management and the FTP process.